So following on to Microsoft Stream on SharePoint, you can now create, view, and share playlists, which again, Microsoft are introducing as something new, but this is what you could do in Stream Classic, and now they're just doing it, now it's on Stream SharePoint. And because the solution architecture is different, they've then had to put this through a Microsoft list, which isn't that it's not useful, but then now you're gonna end up with a set two different Microsoft apps effectively, just to create the thing that was in one that you've got rid of. So you can organize videos in OneDrive and SharePoint into playlists for easier consumption and distribution. I wouldn't recommend doing that from OneDrive because then if the person leaves, at some point those videos are gonna go unless IT migrate it into somewhere else and you've got to recreate the playlist and everything else. So they keep mentioning OneDrive and SharePoint, but please just use SharePoint if you're gonna share any playlists that go around the organization. And um, yeah, you can create uh, this from either into stream or in lists or via SharePoint. It says it allows it creation from flows across Office, SharePoint and lists. So I'm not sure what they're referencing in terms of Office because Office used to be Word, Excel, PowerPoint. You can't do this from there. And then office.com is changing to Microsoft 365. So I'm not sure what they're referencing in when they say Office, but from SharePoint or lists or from stream, you can create this playlist and then presumably, presumably because it's in a list, you can then add that list to another SharePoint page. So you can have a page that's about a subject with like text and video, uh, text and uh, pictures, and then have another like, oh, if you want to find out more, you can show that playlist there. So some of these look pretty, it looks pretty cool, I think, the way that they've implemented it. And just looks like you know any sort of modern player where you can play it in line and see all the other videos in the playlist from there. So if that's what shows through when you put it and embed it into a SharePoint page, then that'd be quite cool. But we'll have to see when it uh, when it comes out.